something that some of us brothers have never decided to tell you sisters when you call us back. See, when you call me back, although you may be interested in another individual, you still have some interest about me as well. See, if I never even initially pick up the phone and call you and you see a missed call, but I text you and say, call me, I'm really not trying to get in touch with you, love. I just want to see if you still are interested in knowing what I have to say or what I may need to talk about. But see, my interest and my curiosity only spikes when I see that you're doing something different, when I see that a new man has come along and treated you better than what I would have ever have. See, this new individual in your life, he may love you. He may respect you. He may want to build with you. But see, me, I only enjoy the benefits of love, not actually the commitment and the dedication and sacrifices that love actually require. See, I didn't want to commit to you, but I did want to commit to the sex. I did want to commit to the benefits as far as coming home, having somebody to do for me, having somebody to make sure that things are provided in a woman's sense, right, of equality. But I never wanted to reciprocate that. So that's why God opened your eyes and took you away from me. Now, I'm not really missing you too much. I really could care less about your ass. But see, that strokes my ego to know that if I text you, call me, and I haven't even initiated a phone call to you, and you decide to call me, that I somewhat still have a little bit of power over you. See, the other man in your life may not know about me because you don't want to bring me up. You don't want to tell him about everything that we have been through and how I did you wrong because you don't want him to feel insecure about me. The man on the other side of the telephone line versus when you're driving in the car, when you're at the mall and I'm texting you trying to get your attention. And you know, like what they say, love, it goes down in the DM, right? So I don't want to put nothing on your actual Facebook page. I don't want to leave any notifications under your pictures on Instagram, but I definitely want to hit you up in that DM just to see if you even look at my message to see what you're going to do. And when I see you starting to type on them iMessages, when I see you starting to type inside of that Facebook Messenger and I see that you're going to respond, see, love, I could really care less about what you're getting ready to say. The satisfaction what actually stroked my ego and pleased me was the fact that I could still get your attention. But see, what you don't know, so says, is that I still have power over you. I still control you somewhat. You may say that I don't, but the reality of it is, is that I do. See, love, you got to add up all of the bullshit that I didn't took you through. If I didn't lie to you, if I didn't deceive you, if I didn't beat you, if I was disrespectful and unwilling to you and I wasn't submissive as a man to my woman, what do you have to call me back about? When we separated and we went our different ways or when we determined and we acknowledged that there was nothing going on any further than what has gone on. Right. When we acknowledge that I didn't even care for you, for your soul, for your body as an entity, as a blessing, as a gift from God. When I didn't even recognize that queen was life, that you make the sun shine and the birds chirp and the gas and the grass go. Right. When I didn't recognize and see none of that, you should have told yourself, it's not that I hate this individual. It's not that I don't care about this man, but this man don't care about me. This man don't respect me. This man don't love me for who I am. So therefore, there should be nothing to even say to this individual. See, you sisters got to stop being weak. And I'm not saying you're weak because you can't help it. You're weak because you desire love. But you desire love so much to where that love has weakened your sense and your ability of what we call common sense. Common sense would be if a man decided to just send you a video as I'm making right now and tell you everything that I'm telling you that, yeah, we liars, we cheaters. No, we never really gave a fuck about you. We just used you. I had unprotected sex with several other women while I was in a committed relationship with you. Sister, ask yourself, would you go back? Would you call back? And would you see what this man wanted. What you must understand for me, a man, is that all I ever need, sister, is the opportunity. Once you pick that phone up and say hello, whatever I say is forever in your mind now. When I try to convince you and I tell you that I love you and that I care for you, a part of you is always going to remember that. So if things don't start working out for this new guy who's actually better than me because you're so used to me, this bomb ass cat, because there's so many of us out there, your instincts automatically start going right back to this bomb ass cat, me, because there's so many of us out there, right? But again, I try to tell you, sisters, man, this is the confessions of a man, right? This is a behind the eyes view of what us men really think and how we feel about you. Not all of us, some of us, but enough of us have this mentality. And I encourage you, sisters, to wake up and to stop fucking with us that have this mentality. Remember, I love every single one of you, sisters.